So many people ask me to do a story, go to the park where they did Slipping with the Bloods, 10 years. Well, this is the park. That's right here, I'm on 27th and Dalton. This is the park where they did it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, listen to me, as I stand right here, right now, the only dude that I knew, really, really, really knew really well was three of them. Uh, Dig Dug, Dougie was our DJ for Club 20s. If anybody's a blood in LA, you remember in the 90s, Club 20s. Well, Dig Dug was the DJ, him and uh, Sellis Land, Eddie Land brother. Um, they was the DJs. And then K-Man, I ain't gonna say the first part, it's disrespectful, I ain't trying to uh, step on nobody, but uh, K-Man, he was a real one. He was, he was Romel's little brother. His brother Romel is his big time bomb. And he's younger than me. So I looked at, uh, I looked at, at, at K-Man, Michael Johnson, as like a little brother to me. Him and Junior, Sneak. But see, the thing is, when they was filming up in this park, Sneak didn't get on the, Sneak didn't get on camera. He wouldn't get on camera. So when I came up to the park, and I seen them up there. They had beer. They had all kind of shit. And they was they was smoking weed, drinking beer, and talking about their war stories. And also another one, a uh, uh, little tall dog, Randell. That was their little clique. So I was against them telling on themselves, man. They were talking about who they shot, who they got into it with, and this and that. And I was against it. So just them right there, tall dog. K man. And uh, Junior, we call him Sneak. Them was my guys. Dig Dug wasn't at the park that day. So I was trying to shut it down. And as I was shutting it down, they went and called the G homie. And when they called the G homie, look at Mad Ronald right there. That's Mad Ronald, leaving the park. But look, so um, so they called, they called the G homie Karate D. Because I was kicking up dust like, man, fuck this. Y'all filming the homies, y'all gotta stop it. So they went to get somebody to get me to stop. But uh, I met Curtis Blow. And then that's what made me stop because the homegirl April was doing, April was doing, uh, she was rapping. I told Curtis Blow, man, help us, help me put April out there so she can get a rap deal. So look, Ronald just hit the corner and made me think about it. This is the house where he grew up in. This was Eddie Chapman's house and he raised his boys here. Eddie Chapman was uh, is Ronald's daddy. Had two more Eddie Chapmans. The, the first Eddie Chapman after the daddy is the homeboy Big Crazy B. So Rolling Twenties, when they decided on the name, it started in that house right there. So in the 80s, that house was headquarters, even though it started on 27th and Butlong. It started in that house. The conversation was Stoney, the homeboy Stoney, uh, the homeboy Crazy B. K Ray, Big Reese, they started right there. But you see how close it is to this apartment building right here, 2651. This my kids was born here in the 90s. Well, two of my daughters. And um, this was headquarters. So they moved out of there in the 80s, and this apartment building became headquarters. So Baby Crazy B was here. Um, Robbie, we call him Diamond, Everett was here. Um, oh shit, Baby Gangster was here. Everybody used to hang out right here. This building would be full of people. Uh, right here, this building. Both of these, this was, matter of fact, down the street. And I ain't gonna walk down there. But uh, the, Lola moved down the street. So Lola kids, she brought her kids over here. Big Byron and uh, Bear and, and uh, was Vivian, uh, what's his name? Um, shit, Baby Spook. All the 29th streets came over here and moved down here. So this block back in the days, back in the 90s, would be full of people. Matter of fact, right where that tree is, me and Robbie's sister was walking to the store one day, Shay Shay. And the Crips came from behind that building because we, we walked through the alley and started shooting at us. And she said she was small enough to hide behind that tree. I had to run the street and hide behind the car. But um, she said I damn near got dead a few times coming out that building right there. But see where that uh, where that Honda is? That's where I used to park my purple Elko when I was up under that building. But this was 20 headquarters right here. 
and look how close it is to the park. We right at the corner, right at the park. If you guys remember, uh, B. Braze and uh, Big Y and them did their video on the street. I don't know what video it was, but they had the Cadillacs and all the Damus. Damu Rai was done on this block right here. So this was a Damu Street back in the 90s. It was Damu Street forever. This park was not a park. It used to be a vacant lot in the 70s. I wasn't here. I wasn't here when it was a vacant lot. But this was a vacant lot. 27th Street did not start right here. It started on 27th and Butlaw. But that was the headquarters. Like I say, I started doing music with April. And that's how I met Curtis Blow. He came to this park with the production team. Wasn't no fence here then. Only that one area over there was uh, the tennis courts. This area was open. It was part of the grass area. And the basketball courts was there. But there was some tables over there too. And we were sitting at the tables. That's where we was at. Over there at the tables. So when Curtis Blow pulled up, I was like, oh shit, we about to get a we about to get a rap contract. And I became April's manager. Curtis Blow taught me how to produce. And I produced a number of different songs. I produced some some songs for Trey D, the East Siders, Squeak Roo. Uh, short chop didn't go nowhere I was working with Terry Carter and I owe all that to Curtis Blow when he came in that park that day April damn near signed the should she could have been a part of death row but uh, she didn't want it it was it was it was gladiator school going into death row she didn't want that but it started because of slipping in the bloods right here when I met Curtis Blow so look I'm gonna tell you one more time. The 20s is over there, right there. These dudes don't know that dude, Lowdown. We got a different homeboy named Lowdown. So we don't know them dudes like that, man. Karate D was a real one from around here. He's a Trinidad somewhere now. Uh, April come from around here. Uh, Sneak, K Mike, I mean, uh, yeah, K Man, uh, Mike Johnson. Uh, shit, Tall Dog, Randell. Yeah, he from right here. Dig Dug. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go show y'all. We used to have Club 20s at this house by the alley. It was a crazy lady lived at the alley. So before we went on Raymond and, and got the, the house on Raymond, I don't know if y'all can see over there, not the corner house, but where the brick wall is over there. And I'll make it big. See that garage right there where that red truck is in front of? That used to be Club 20s. That backyard, that garage, all that. Bloods would come from everywhere. Every neighborhood came here to Club 20s and the DJ was Dick Doug. He grew up on, on Kenwood. So he really is from here. You know what I mean? But if y'all looking for them dudes, we at Lauren Miller Park now. They go Big Monster, they go Philly D, they go Doc. Uh, shit, West Side Tone got on all blue over there. He's original. He wearing all blue right now. Let me tell you, back in the days, in the 70s, he's a hardcore blood, but he will walk up with all blue on and call everybody out. It's the homie Bobo dancing over there with the burgundy on. Wow, well, they about to have a pop locking contest. So we got some uh, Latinos gonna come over here and do this contest. So y'all might not hear me from now on, but all right, all that slipping with the bloods, you see who's up here now. Goldie will bust a move. Bust a move real quick, Goldie. Come on, come on. <laughs> he know it's shit. He's been dancing since he's a baby, man. <laughs> right, he can grow his back though. <laughs> 
<laughs> he can still grow his curl back. <laughs> Much love. I they got monster and dog up here. Hey, what we doing up here, man? What's happening? Oh, man, this is the annual Pop Lock um, and Resource Fair. All right, so I'll tell everybody you're going to bust a move. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Doc, bust a move real quick, man. <laughs> Army, bust a move, man. Come on. This is a Pop Lock, this is a pop lock contest, man. Can you, can, I was telling everybody, man, the homies going to dance their way up out the rolling 20s, man. Can you, can you bust a move? <laughs> Come on, Bobo. Come on, man. What's your move, man? <laughs> hey, the man, British just... journalist said he had to leave. Oh yeah, he had to leave. We had a we had a, a reporter out here from France. Uh, he told Monster he had to leave. Yeah, thank you. Probably did have to leave. But uh, nah, he's good up here, man. It's all the peacemakers and stuff. We got a game truck out here, man. On Dalton, we got the home girl right here. Got the home girl out here. Hey, yeah, I'm out here. I'm nice. ready to pop lock. Okay, come on. Bust your move. Bust your move. Bust your move. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you got everybody. Yep, 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 yep. What's going on, man? How long you done had a game truck, man? Yeah, three years. Three years? Yeah, that's right. game truck on Instagram. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a good look. So look, y'all. All right, this is the park right here. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, but let me tell you what's so important about the homegirl. The homegirl, uh, Tayon right there. Her daddy is Yap. Yap is an OG, original Hoover family, original Rolling Twenties. When she was younger, I used to have to chase her because she was, she was beating up all the little girls in the neighborhood. <laughs> Man, I wasn't even doing intervention. I just, you know, someone was related to my homeboy, little monster, and them. But she would chase girls all through here and be beating them up. So she didn't come a long way. But this is the park. This is the park where it was filmed at. Y'all done seen the homies up here. The older homies. I don't know where the young homies was. There's about three or four of them up here. But uh, anyway, I said I'm going to go ahead and end. I don't know if y'all remember this. But there was some benches over there. And that's where they was drinking and interviewing K-Man. Slipping with the bloods. Well, shit, we slipping now because probably ain't not one pistol up here and it's okay because as soon as I see the foolish is coming I'm gonna try to talk my way out of it got too many peacemakers now this is our uh, Lauren Miller Park get a little history of the of the 20s ain't a lot y'all see Matt Ronald just left he was going to the store but uh slipping with the bloods let me say it one more time Karate D is a real one and you know they real if they named Karate because we had a homeboy, Karate Reg, who was teaching everybody Karate. Karate Reg, Karate D. Matter of fact, Doc over there with Monster, he know that he come off a of butt long too. He know all that shit. He Karate dude. So that's how you know OGs when you get to talking about Karate, even though Doc is uh, younger than me. But all right, y'all, this is uh, Lauren Miller Park. You're in the heart of the rolling 20s right here. Uh, part one. I'll do a part two later.